Hey folks, I um, thought I'd do a video on how fast this bottler would actually run. Uh, I'm going to be doing quartz today. Um, I think in my previous video I mentioned that the uh, Anchor Hawking jars were undersized. Well, it turns out that it was the exact opposite. Uh, Golden Harvest jars were actually a little bit, they're oversized. So, um, Anchor Hawking and Ball both are um, correct one quart jars. Um, anyway, I'm going to be pulling from this stack going to be feeding. We're going to time it and I'll show you how fast it'll do a gallon of honey. I figure that's probably a pretty good indicator. Um, and I'm just going <coughs> to not going to do anything special. I'm just going to do it exactly the same way I'd normally run it so you guys have a, a real world idea of how, how fast this thing will bottle. And we'll go ahead and start our stopwatch. Pull my jars. And I'll just pull them jars because that's what I normally do. And we're at the 30 second mark. So that was right a minute 20. Um, anyway, this is the speed I finally figured out for this to get accurate. You have to have enough time for it to, to replenish the honey in the cylinder um, and not try to siphon air from um, around an O-ring or something in the cylinder. So this is a pretty good speed. And we're right now, at a minute and 45. So I'll get this. Back in the container. And we're done exactly two minutes. So this setup will do um, a half a gallon a minute or 30 gallons an hour um, doing quarts. So anyway, that's big time saver for me. I, I did 42 quarts, 42 gallons yesterday in, in less than uh, two hours. So anyway, I hope you guys uh, like the video. Um, this thing's a little bit of a devil, this machine. is a little bit of a devil to get set up and, and learn it, but once you learn it, it's a great machine. Um, anyway, um, like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video.